The market has had a great big party in the last couple of years. People were taking advantage of low interest rate and rushing into buying properties in the market. Are we going to a slowdown now? Are we in the bubble? Hi everybody, this is Elisa Zen. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to share in my video five signs that we have observed that that's indicating to a potential slowdown. And at the end, we're going to share some good news we feel in this market that can create for some new investors. First, warning from the Fed. Fed has already admitted that the inflation is the number one problem of U.S. economy. If that is not your signal, then you're in self-denial. Listen to what they are saying in their meeting notes. On June 17th, Fed Chair Jerome Powell publicly warned that new buyers should wait until the supply and demand stabilizes after buying. If the chairman of the Fed is saying, don't buy, maybe it's a good idea to take his suggestion. And also what they're trying to do is basically slow down the consumption and trying to put a cap on the inflation rate. So no more growth is what I'm reading into this is what the Fed is trying to make the market into. Second, dropping in sales price. That is a good indication that we're already in a downward trend with the housing market. Nationwide, since the end of June, the median sales price has dropped from peak 396K to 385K by the end of July. Small drop. However, maybe it's the beginning of something more drastic. Let's see how the median sales price has changed in these popular housing market after the pandemic. Las Vegas, the peak price was in mid-June at 450K and dropped to 435 by the end of July a 4.6% drop. In popular market, typically what we see a cyclical cycle behavior where what goes up must come down. So when they go up a really, really high, the calm down, that drop may also be a little bit bigger. In Seattle, we've changed the front peak in early June at 850K to 796K by the end of July, a 6.35% of a drop. San Francisco, from 1.66 million in May to 1.53 in late July, a 7.8% drop. So these are some of the indications to look for because we believe the drop will be even more significant. Third, luxury home pricings are starting to plummet. This is usually an early sign of the market not being so healthy. Even the richest of the rich are starting to ease off. These are typically the smart money. According to Redfin, sales of luxury U.S. house has fell to 17.8% year over year during the three months ending April 30th, the largest drop since the onset of coronavirus. Of course, housing have become unaffordable to buy because the interest rate has hiked up so drastically. Let's take a look at why we think that's unaffordable. For the same kind of single family homes, the average monthly rent is $2,016 nationwide. But if you were to buy a house, your mortgage is going to be now more than your rents at $2,050. However, we know that home ownership is not just mortgage, there are insurance taxes. When you add all this together, your affordability gap has increased drastically. So this becomes less affordable. And interest rate has gone up so much. Previously, if someone could afford a million dollar home, all of a sudden their mortgages has just gone up 2% more. It become unaffordable for the same family. Therefore, we're seeing some of the buyers in the market has pulling out their existing offers because they simply couldn't get the lender terms. Fifth, decreasing disposable income. The consumer report has indicated we're in a period when there is a super high inflation. If your inflation rate is at an over 8% rate, that means your bread, food, gas is all going to cost significantly higher. Therefore, people's salary hasn't increased as much as that. Therefore, less they can save to buy a home. Now, here's some good news I want to share with you. We have seen this in 2007, 2008. So if you're a fresh investor who's kicking yourself and missing out an opportunity to buy in the last recession, now maybe perhaps it is a good time to start looking into this. I'm not talking about immediately, but in a year or so when the interest rate starts stabilizing, 
perhaps it's a good market to start looking into buying things that may be foreclosure. Because remember, the pricing has bid up a lot higher earlier this year. So a lot of folks who bought the stuff in the last year to this year, perhaps they're sitting on properties they can no longer afford. So we're going to see some slowdown and potentially some foreclosure coming as well in the next year or so. So keep your eyes open for some of these opportunities. Now, maybe finally your chance to get it into some good deals. If you like today's video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.